Okay, update number three. Let me show you guys the progress and hopefully show you what it looks like on the ground. Uh, so let me flip the camera around. Okay, very good. So the Mark 7 GTI subframe has the front trailing arm mounts. It has two mounts on the subframe here and here, and then one small tab on the top. And so I built a little bit of a pseudo subframe on top of this before placing it under the car and setting it. And I've got that welded in now. The orange tape represents the center. And I don't think there's a spot where you can see it. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit just right there. That's the center of the car. Here's the center of the car. There's another piece of tape. And then the subframe has the same. That's how I got everything aligned. I'll show a photo of that. Um, long story short, I was able to reuse some of the down bars. That's why all this stuff is painted white. That was from the, the cage where I cut everything out. I ended up with a kind of a round you know, almost like top of the basket is what I'm kind of calling this thing, um, which ties the actual chassis together with this tube. And then I had built this rectangular box, added some studs. I'm using five, eight bolts, which are very, very close to the metric size. And then there's four tubes now, but there's a pile of other tubes that still need to come in. So this just gets the, the, the thing kind of sitting in the car, um, squared up and you know, it'll, it'll, carry a little bit of a load. So jump in here very quickly. I was able to kind of like clean off all the other down bars and whatnot that I had before. Uh, down here, I have the plates that were welded on. And I had talked about the three different positions for the various anti-lift under the brakes. So I've got those men on both sides. I marked center here. I have center right here. And uh, yeah, everything's coming together fairly well give you a quick tour and before this video ends I'm gonna go ahead and throw the subframe back underneath of it so I'll show show you guys what that looks like now uh, so I'm gonna put the camera down and get to work okay so before I drop it I just want to quickly share just 5-8 bolts through bolt those four locations right there there and you can see up front those tabs are left a little long I'm gonna trim up these right here and uh, I've got more tubage and all that fun stuff to add. So they're kind of, they're rough cut in right now. All right, let's get this thing on the ground and uh, share what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. <clears throat> this is about the ride height. I've got to cut and trim this fender a bit more to actually get the bump, but at least it clears the wheels right now. I believe that has good geometry for the rear. And the front is really what is limiting it because of the front control arms. So here's a bit more of a review on the inside. Um, yeah. So I think I think it's looking pretty good. I like how you know future wing or something like that can be bolted or just welded right onto that tube. There is some additional bracing on the inside, and I do believe the fuel cell is best served in that area, that void up front. Yeah. So that's a 255 front, 235 rear. The pinch welds will end up being about six and a half inches off the off the floor. The front control arms are about parallel, which is limiting my geometry across the board. I can't can't go any lower unless I were to raise the front subframe up. Um, I am going to look at some white line uh, extended ball joints for the front. That'll give me a little bit more roll center stiffness and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. Let me see if it looks better. Eh. The view of the camera is in the fisheye. So it kind of construes everything a little bit. But let me set back a little way so you guys can see the whole thing. Yeah, it's a big tire for the front of that car. But I think with enough hacking, I can make it fit. Pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. So that's the easy part of the Mark 7 rear subframe install. Now's the hard part, which is filling in the fenders, which I've got a, a solution for that. Next video, I might talk about the brake package that I went with on the rear trying to keep it economical and, and sized appropriately. I'm also going to add some ballast in the rear to, to uh, simulate fuel. I'm gonna add some ballast in the front to simulate myself. 
and we're gonna corner weight it. So that's gonna help me pick out spring rates for the rear, spring rates maybe for the front, figure out where my, uh, roughly my uh, center of gravity is, I hope. And um, that'll also help with potentially aero discussions and things like that. So here we are. Cool.